Hey guys, it's Kyle down here at LunaCycle. Today I'm going to show you how to do a controller swap on the Telaria Sting RMX4. Uh, this controller swap is a little different than on older Telarias. You do need to pair the motor to the new controller. So watch the end of this video and be sure to calibrate the new controller to the motor. So the very first step in swapping out the controller is you need to flip the breaker and disconnect your battery. Next, you're going to need a 3, 4, and a 5 mil hex key, and you're going to want to undo the old controller. So you're going to start by removing this small plastic cover screw right here on both sides. Next, you're going to want to remove the two 4 mil bolts on either side. So you got two here and two on the other side. So after you've got these four bolts removed, the controller will drop down. And you're going to want to reach up under this cover and pull out these plugs right here. you got a black plug and a white plug. And if you push on this little clip right here, you should be able to unplug both of these. Just like so. Now your next step is to remove these five lug bolts right here. Um, it does help if you have a ball headed 5 mil to get these out. You do want to be careful, these do like to fall into the little bash guard area. I'm going to grab my new controller. And if you look at the bottom here, you can see all of them are clearly labeled. So you have positive W, V, U. And if you look on all these, they are all labeled. Positive is the red one, and it's the one way over to the right side of the bike. Just start by getting these on with your fingers. I like to just start all of them by hand. and then tighten them down with the wrench. Now you don't want to go too tight on these. You can break off the stud if you really crank these down too tight. Say no more than five to seven newton meters on these. All right, now once you've got all five of these nice and snug, go through and double check that none of them are still loose. Give them a good little double check. Now it's time to re-plug in the main communication wires. And be patient when you tuck these back up in here, there is not that much room so take your time once you've gotten the connectors up and out of place you can kind of push the controller back to where it was there we go now I like to start with the bottom two bolts the holes in the frame are kind of oval shaped, whereas the upper ones are just round. So if you get these two in place, then you can kind of reposition the controller a little bit. A 
And just get all four started by hand before you tighten them down. Once you've got all four in place, just go ahead and tighten them all down. These don't need to be crazy tight. Just even three or four newton meters is fine on these. And finally, you reinstall the two that hold the little horn cover into place. All right, once you've got everything back reinstalled, it's time to calibrate the controller. So it's time to reconnect the battery. Go ahead and flip your breaker on. You can then power up the bike. And if you hold down the very top button on the display, it's gonna take you to the menu. And the very last option is match. You're gonna hit match and then execute. And if you can see, it's gonna wiggle the motor forward and backwards three or four times. And if everything goes as planned, it's gonna say success. So now your controller is now paired to the motor. You can exit it by holding down the menu button. Um, and then you do have to cycle the power before the motor will spin again. And that's the controller swap on the Telerius Sting RMX4.